Hello pre-calculus students and welcome to our lesson, our third video here in our series on probability. And now it's going to get uh, quite challenging. Um, so hopefully you've internalized all the concepts from the videos before. If not, I suggest watching them again um, or uh, asking for help from your teacher. Okay. So to onwards with this, let me explain a little bit about uh, uh, what a flush really means. These are all cards of the same suit. Okay. And if you're not familiar with cards or how a deck of cards works, uh, it's really 52 cards total. And then there are 13 values of the cards. And, and they go from, you know, they go from an ace, and then a two, a three, all the way to jack queen, king, and then each of these sets are, they have, uh, there's four sets, okay? and we call them suits, so there are, there's an ace of hearts, a ace of clubs, ace of spades, ace of diamonds, two of hearts, two of clubs, two of space, spades, two of diamonds, okay, so just uh, look at a deck of cards, look up online, for a deck of cards if you haven't seen, if you, know, if you don't quite remember this, so that we can uh, proceed. So example five here asks us, what's the probability of getting a flush in five card poker? In other words, a flush, for, if you're not familiar with it, it means that all cards are of the same suit. And hopefully, uh, what we can do in this video here is not just spoon feed you formulas to do this, but to uh, get you to think about uh, and get some strategies that can really help you solve these problems so that you can solve any problem. Okay. So let's start out by solving a simpler problem. Solve uh, a simpler problem. Okay. So let's start out with uh, how many different poker hands are there? Well, we have 52 cards, and we want to pick five of them. And ask yourself the questions that we usually ask, is there repetition? In this case, there is no repetition. Okay? Because you can only pick a card once. Okay? So you can only pick a card once. In other words, with the moment that you have a ace of spades, you cannot get the ace of spades again. And also, order does not matter. In some other games, it might make a difference, but in poker, it makes no difference. So if you get a ace of spades, and then a two of clubs, or a two of clubs first, and an ace of spades later, they're the same hand. These two scenarios are the exact same hands. So like suppose I'm, I'm dealt with these five cards, right? Uh, if I was dealt this first instead of that one, and if I dealt if I was dealt these around these first, uh, it's still the same hand, even if even if I got them in different order. Now the next question we should ask ourselves well, is how many ways are there for us to get a flush? So you can have five hearts. You could have so you could have you know these five hearts right here. All right, that's a flush. Okay. Or you could have you know if I took away these two cards, you could also have these five hearts. That's also a flush. Or you know you could also have these five spades. Uh, that's also a flush. Or, or some other types of combinations of spades okay that's also a flush okay so how many possible ways are there for us to get a flush we're, we're gonna work with solving simpler problems so we're gonna ask ourselves uh, how many ways to get five hearts okay 
Well, how many hearts are there in the deck? Well, there are 13 hearts in the deck. And we need to be able to pick five of them. And again, same rules applied without any, without any repetition. I cannot deal you the king of hearts twice. And then the order doesn't really matter. It doesn't matter how I move these around. It's still the same hand. So this is 13, choose 5. So the answer here is at least 13, choose 5. Okay. But um, we have to con consider how many ways are there to get a cl five clubs, how many ways are there to get five diamonds, how many ways are there to get five spades. Well, it's all the same, right? This is 13. Oops, let me use the same color pen here. So this is uh, 13, choose 5. And I want to distinguish each one of these. These are ways to get five hearts. These are ways to get ways to get five diamonds. Okay. And it's the same thing for, for everything else here. Um, so there are 13 choose five ways to get five clubs and 13 choose five ways to get five spades. So all in total, we can answer the question. Now the probability of getting flush is four times, and I'm gonna use this notation instead, 13 choose five over 52 choose five. And I don't know what this number is, but it somewhat doesn't really matter. It's kind of a small number, but this is the probability of getting a flush. Understanding that the number of poker hands is 52 choose 5. The number of ways for us to get 5 of the same suit is 13 choose 5. But there are four different suits. In other words, there's however many ways there are to get 5 hearts, there's four total ways because you can get 5 clubs, 5 spades, 5 diamonds. Those are all ways to get flushes as well. So this is uh, our final answer. And this is uh, uh, the beginning of all the tricky problems here. I'm going to hit pause, and I'm going to go on to a couple other um, problems. So the next question is, probably getting three of a kind. We're still playing five-card poker. Okay. And, uh, and we only want three of a kind. Okay. So we don't want, like, not four of a kind or anything else. And so from the last example, hopefully, you can see that um, this probability is going to be something over 52 choose 5. Because that's how many ways there are for me to get a poker hand. And so in the last example, when we talked about the flush, the suit really matters. Here, we are interested in uh, the face values of the card, the, the values of the card. So let's take a very basic example. How many ways are there for me to get three queens? So how many ways are there for me to get three queens? Well, I have four of them, so this is one way that I could get three queens. This is another way that I could get three queens, all right? So I can have a club, a spade, a heart, a club, a spade, a diamond, okay? a uh, club or you know a uh, spade a diamond a heart a diamond a club a diamond and so I can just keep swapping these out right and in, uh, and in other words there are four queens I in here and I want to select or pick three of them okay, so there's four queens you should write that down four queens we're going to pick three of them, and we can't pick the same queen twice, and it doesn't matter which order we pick them in. It's still the same three queens. Okay, So the ways for us to choose three queens, number of ways to pick three queens okay, is four choose three. 
So this is at least that much. But this is just queens. What about all the cards in the deck? Well, how many face values are there? Well, there's an ace, a two, a three, a four, a five. Okay, six, seven, and eight, nine, ten, jack, queen, king. So that we don't, we're not just interested in queens, but what about the kings? What about the the jacks, the tens, the nine, the eight, always all the way back down to the to the ace. Okay? And since there's thirteen of these values, we have to multiply this by thirteen. Now, you might think that we're done here. So let's say we look at back at our example. We have three queens. But that's not all the possible poker hands because there's also the other two cards that are in, involved in here. So I can have three queens, this two and this eight. I could have uh, three queens, a three, another three, and an ace. Okay. And then I can have so it's just all kinds of different possibilities here. So we also have to consider the other cards that are in this, this as well. Okay. Well, so let's put this aside for a Let's put these cards aside for a minute here. So the other cards, the next card that I have here, what are the requirements for this card? Well, this card can be anything okay, except a queen because otherwise we have four of a kind okay. otherwise we would have four of a kind so in other words if I had three queens already and then I get another queen okay, that's no longer a three of a kind that's a four of a kind well in that case how many cards are non-queens? So in other words, we need to choose a card from the non-queens. Well, there are, I, there are four queens in the deck, so there's 48 non-queens, and I need to pick one of those. Okay. So there's 48 cards in the deck. So it's sort of like we're saying we have this big deck of cards here. Okay. So we have a big deck of cards here. I got all the queens on one side and I have you know just all of these other cards here on the other side. Okay. So I have 48 of these and I just want to pick one of them. So that's 48 choose one. And so I'm going to name this card. I'm going to name this. This is card four. And let's look at the, so now I have three cards. That's a three of a kind. I have the fourth card. And let's look at the fifth card here. Well, what are the requirements for this? Well, they have to be, you know, non-queen. Okay. And also, more importantly, uh, non-card four. Because otherwise, that's a full house. And I'll explain what a full house. A full house is basically a three of a kind and then a two of a kind. So we don't want like a like a full house. So let's say you picked, you had a three, uh, you have three queens, you had a uh, six of hearts. Okay. But to get another six, uh, this would no longer be three of a kind. This would be a full house. So this fifth card could be anything except the six. So in other words. We, we don't want any, there's 52 cards in a deck. Four of them are queens. Four of them are whatever this is. So now we just have 44 of them left, and we want to pick one of those. Okay? So altogether, there are four, we're picking three queens out of four, or three cards out of four of the same values. But there's 13 different values in the deck. Then we have to pick a fourth card that's anything but a non-queen. And then we have to pick a fifth card that's not a queen and also not uh, whatever card number four is. And so you see how quickly uh, these problems can be very, very difficult and, um, and quite a bit challenging for all of you. But you, and so you really have to think carefully and deeply about all of this. And so again, I said before, we're gonna, we're gonna look at some examples that are not necessarily um, in the in the notes that, that you wrote. So I'm gonna propose here a uh, try on your own.
I'm going to ask, what's the probability of getting two pairs? And what's the probability of getting a full house? This is three of a kind and a pair. And this is called a full house when you play poker. Okay? Okay, so in this video over there, work on these problems. Ask your teacher in class if you have a hard time. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day. Um, make sure you continue and watch the next set of uh, the next video that talks about binomial uh, probability.